Have a good Christmas. Thank you. And get the ride going anyway. Oh, wow. Everybody's different again. It's you had a rhizo already on the other side and it, it's not, because you're at 10 now, it's gotta be, it's not working at all, is that? Like, yeah, it feels like it's back already. Like my and pain when is, was it? The, uh, like in February. Only that's like, 10 months, that's pretty good. You think so? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, 10 months, I mean, your decision, your goal is to be short of doing something invasive, like surgery or, you know, something that's gonna change your whole thing so i think 10 months is pretty good yeah How, when did it start but hurting again? i was gonna say but this is like 10 months of it being at a 10 it's been bad but now it's just unbearable so oh I mean, wait okay so how long has it been back probably for it, i probably only got three months out of really yeah because it's been back oh. and it, it's just now it's unbearable again yeah so. <laughs> well, let's see how this does and see what happens. Yeah. You might have to, it might be an only resort is to get to the last done. time it wasn't maybe. I asked, he said it's going to be three, like yeah, six or well, three on yes, the side. Yes, yes, exactly. I don't think last time it was that. Okay, okay, so this is going to be different. Yeah. Gonna, I'm going to ask have more. Sure. Yeah, Vicari, to see. Yeah, sure. Right and that, that, that'll dictate a lot too, but I mean, some, some people you eventually after they get them for a couple of years and they stop being so effective you do have to resort to something else like surgery but again looks up better with the three levels yeah on both sides and this is coming all across yeah. me i may have you lean up so it's friday morning and i'm still low-key hiding in the bed <laughs> but um i got a client at 10 o'clock so um it's super easy though all i have to do is shampoo and trimmer so <clears throat> I'm about to get up and try to jump back into my regular routine. I'm dreading that I even booked her though today. So gotta get back into the regular thing, swing of things. And then maybe I'll go to the casino later at the casino and me some money. So I think I realized one of my problems or one of my issues, um, after I have like these procedures and like, therapy and uh, massage therapy today, um, I guess I realized like one of my issues that I have is I be wanting like instant, um, healing, I guess, like just instant gratification <laughs> as far as like just feeling better and not being in any more pain. Like after I got off the chiropractor's table, I kind of had stretched up and bent down and I couldn't bend all the way down. There was like some pain there. Mind you, my procedure was only three days ago. And she's like, well, you know, give it time. Like, you know, it just <laughs> like relax. You're rushing it and like, yeah, I want to be able to have full range of motion. I want to be able to get back to normal. I don't want to be in pain anymore after already the buildup of pain getting to the point of having to have the procedure on top of the recovery time from the procedure. Like, I want to be able to do everything normally like how I would have been before, you know, coming across this injury. So that definitely is one of, like, my problems or one of my issues, like, I want like instant recovery. I don't like being in pain after the procedures because this is my second one. But I'm really just over it. Like I be trying to tell people like this shit is really like low key depressing, and people don't be understanding that shit. Like people don't get it. But just being out of your comfort and not being able to move and being mobile like how you would normally be is definitely something to to adjust to i wouldn't even say like to take into consideration it's just more so like you have to adapt and adjust to to this way of life now for what it's worth so just over it i just want to feel better well since the kid is really feeling some type of way um i'm cool with the guys at the liquor store and he just swear up and down that i asked him for some rose prosecco and i didn't <laughs> I only asked, I didn't even ask him about it, but I was just like, do y'all got Prosecco? And now he like, oh, well, we got the Ruby when you gotta buy it. <laughs> Whatever. Because I ain't tripping. Ain't no paper shortage this way. But, um, in all honesty, when it comes time for me to choose a wine or a liquor, 
I'm always gonna go with the highest um the highest alcohol volume and this one right here is a rose it's a moscato i believe it's a it's angel's kiss rose and it's from california it's 2018 and it's like 13.9 percent um angel's kisses rose wine from california a perfect kiss anytime you want it the perfect this special blush Herve is an everyday favorite. Each glass provides floral aromas with citrus and red fruit that is crisp and refreshing with a mineral finish. Pair with salad, seafood, grilled chicken, or simply enjoy on its own. That's what we're going to be doing today. Meanwhile, um, this Prosecco, it's 11% by volume and um, it's a sparkling wine. And I'm just not impressed. So we're going to put this back in the fridge. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pop this bottle of uh, this California wine, okay? That's what we're gonna drink tonight. Actually, wanna um, wanna get my little holder. I don't know, y'all. I'm really like in a real bad mood, low key. Like I'm trying to feel better and feel good, but I'm I'm in a lot of pain. So this vlogmas looking real. <laughs> real light around these parts do you feel me but um yeah but we're gonna we're gonna open this today on day three of vlogmas before we before we get it really really get it popping we're gonna um just hope this lifts the mood around these parts and um i think this was like five dollars at like the little local spartan neighborhood market so you know i am all for it cheap wine that gets you where you need to be honey where you need to go so let's get it bobbing okay honey, yay It's nasty. <laughs> well, I was expecting a better taste, but Ugh. <laughs> for my thirteen percent by volume, we gonna drink it. Oh, y'all, I'm just so upset. Like, why I just be so hit and miss? That's why. I like well, liquor, you know what you're going to get with liquor. If you drink Remy, you know you know what the type of cognac you're going to get. With, with wine, it'd be like, you never know. Oh, my gosh. What's it going to taste like? This is bitter. This is dry. This is everything I don't like in a wine. I like stuff that's just, that I can sip, that'll, you know, that, that tastes good, that I can just drink. This is like, why am I drinking this? Here, take this away from me. Like, oh, my God, no. already know how I feel. Look what I got for my baby. Mm, mm, mm. Like, let me tell y'all. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you cannot lose. So originally this was $30, right? And it's three on here. <laughs> three for eight. You better act like you know. And then three for eight again. Long sleeve, long john action, period. Got the footballs on there. Little brown John, little blue John, and then I have been saying I gotta bring these plugs to your house. So I got the little good plugs for the baby, and then I gotta put some stuff in there too for big baby. But come on, y'all, like somebody stop her because she gonna spend all her money. Okay, normally when I'm doing stuff like how my body and how my mind work, um, certain things are done in certain places. So I'm actually finishing up this week. Um, like since I've been like on bed rest all week, I have been upstairs and haven't really been downstairs because normally I do not do nothing hair related upstairs or definitely not in my bedroom. But um, the way my life is set up right now, I'm going to finish this wig really quickly, add some uh, clips inside of it, make sure it's flat ironed really straight. I actually want to uh, curl it first, then re-straighten it because the client does want it straightened. 
but I'm just like, all these inches, I'm about to curl this bad boy up. But lottery, lottery, lottery. So 7.30, this is what I'll be on. Like two. Oh, you know what? I gotta check check because I thought my lottery gotta give me um something else. 